Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, there was no video for the last couple of days. Um, my Both of my kids have, are crazy busy right now. My daughter is graduating middle school, so they're doing the whole parties, the whole fiesta and all that stuff between my son and their AAU practices and the AAU games final in the spring. It was just too much, so I apologize. There was no video for the last couple of days. So usually I rest on Thursday, but today, again, after no video for two days, I figure, let me share my thoughts. Nothing's going on anyway, right? So let's talk about the table. Number one, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. We appreciate your viewership. Kindly uh, click a like, share, subscribe, be part of the PS60 movement. Uh, for all you guys who have been uh, loyal followers for a very, very long time, again, thank you very much. Uh, from the bottom of your hearts and you, if you are uh, on the cusp of wanting to try pivots you don't know if it's for you um you know you have so many questions or right? fear of the unknown look we're, we're having another uh we're having another memorial day uh special trials like 47 bucks for the month come in for a month man come in for a month take a look at these pivots are all about uh there's no gimmicks here it's pure technical analysis uh we have a phenomenal phenomenal group uh, a lot of trinkets in between, a lot of little surprises throughout the day, which unfortunately I can't share on this video. But for all you guys in, within our midst, well, you guys got to know, uh, Shapiro Algo is real and it's spectacular. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much. So you just keep an eye out for that for the next uh, couple of days. Other than that, let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about the market. So uh, last time we spoke, was on Tuesday's video. We were talking about the exhaustion cycle. You guys remember, it feels like it was a month, months ago, but only two days ago. We were talking about the exhaustion cycle. We were talking about uh, the market kind of needing a rest to kind of reset things. And that's exactly what we got, right? It's exactly what we got. We rested. We came in for a couple of days. Perfect remount, perfect digestion, uh, all the bulls. Again, nobody was calling for Armageddon in the market. We were just calling for, well, I was calling for uh, kind of an exhaustion channel that we could take advantage to the downside, uh, specifically names, you know, like a Google. You guys remember that? Like a Google came in perfectly. Uh, like the Qs, we talked about that 335 level. You guys remember that a couple of videos ago? The 335 level got all the way down to 329s. So it was a very good structural couple of days of taking advantage of the exhaustion channel. And the question was, what was going to happen next, right? Was NVIDIA going to set the tone? I would say, and again, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I would say NVIDIA definitely played a part in setting the tone. So if you guys, unless you're on the, you know, living on the rock, NVIDIA had earnings last night, right? They weren't even great. Let's be honest. They weren't even that great. But you don't need great earnings to have a great reaction. And that's exactly what we have. Uh, NVIDIA is the absolute, for the exception of the BYND, of all things, the beyond meet PR department, NVIDIA knows how to work the room, right? They know how to gauge the, the temperature of the room and they really, really know how to know how to work the crowd there. If you guys remember, NVIDIA was just a regular chip maker like everybody else. And then all of a sudden they became a Bitcoin miner. Stock exploded. All of a sudden now, right? You know, again, a nice chip maker. All of a sudden they're, they're ahead and shoulders above everybody in the AI community. And now we're going to roll with the AI. If I have to remember and go back into uh, the, the the chronicles, maybe they were doing COVID testing. Who the hell knows, right? Mad cow disease, dog disease. But whatever they do, they're masters of putting themselves out there as the forefront of the hot of the it thing now. Now, again, the question is going to be, is AI just a bubble or is AI here to stay? I personally think AI here to, is here to stay. I even downloaded, right? Just and again, and I'm a moron, right? I don't know if you guys can see this on my uh, on my screen, right? But the Chat GPT, even I downloaded this Chat GPT crap, and, and I'm and I'm a simpleton, right? I know nothing about nothing. So I personally think this AI thing is here to stay. Okay, I think there's gonna be a lot of companies they're gonna start putting out or have already started putting out AI 
uh, AI uh, PRs, but the main four, right? The main four, and I think we could all agree on, is NVIDIA, Microsoft, Google, and AMD so far. I'm sure Apple is going to drop a PR here and there. I'm sure this, that, and the third. But so far, these are the four horsemen that have been leading the AI revolution. I get it. There's other stocks like AI actually doing very, very well. PLTR having a monster run uh, on the back of its quarter. But it's those four horsemen, especially those are the four stocks uh, that I trade in my stable of horsemen uh, adjacent or horsemen adjacent. So if you look at today's action, it was very, 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 very odd. NVIDIA went out of its mind. I think it went out of its mind last night. Uh, you, you know, we talked about it. They were coming in for before earnings. They were coming in for the 325, 340 calls. And I was like, oh, okay, 325, 340. The damn thing went to almost 400 last night, right? Absolutely crazy. Again, earnings weren't great. The report wasn't great. But they kept on cheerleading the effort of AI, AI, AI. And that is the magic word, right? It's like diamonds are forever. AI is forever as well. So big, big spike. And it took, obviously, all the names associated with it. Microsoft, uh, Google, right? Google and AMD all had monster, monster days. If you look at the, the interesting thing about today's session was you would think the market was absolutely going nuts when I say the market, uh, the Nasdaq. And the Nasdaq did great. Don't get it you know, misconstrued. The Nasdaq went up 200 change, right? Very big. The Dow was right in the day. And if you look at the market com compared to how you looked at the market 15, 20 years ago, you would see continuously what we've been talking about for many, many years now, that the market's been the separation. For all the stocks that did really, really well, there was a lot of names that did not participate. Uh, Snow uh, obviously had an effect on the cloud names and, and Amazon, which is very, very odd. I get that Amazon, the whole Amazon web services, but you know, to be down on a day like this, very, very odd for Amazon not to participate in this rally. Uh, you look at the other names, again, discontinuation of what we've been seeing. You see healthcare, healthcare providers, right? Cigna getting smashed, Cardinal Health, right? Getting hit. You see retailers, look what Target's been doing, right? Look, I mean, Target's been absolutely getting absolutely annihilated. You look at Citibank, and at one point, you start looking at, you know, retail uh, insurance, financials, and you say to yourself, man, the Dow must be down 500. At one point, it was down like 250, 300. So the idea that we can still get uh, a discontinuation, a disconnected market is very, very real. Um, I think that the market itself is incredibly powerful. Uh, NVIDIA, again, just an absolute rock star run, uh, faded, you know, faded about 15 points from the highs. We had a, we had two really phenomenal pivots uh, on uh, NVIDIA. We'll get to that in a second. But the most important part is the market continues to be healthy. It, it, it got through uh, the digestion or exhaustion cycle that we were talking about for two, three days. They got their seat legs back. And again, it looks like a lot of the names are finally getting their swagger back for a potential next day run. So when you look at tomorrow's session, you have to assume, even if there is profit taking on NVIDIA at the open, you have to assume with this type of run up, okay, and this is goes for pretty much any, any uh, cult stock type of run, usually they'll go green at least once for the next day. So if you see some profit taking at the open, what you kind of want to watch maybe the, the, the rising 60 minute support or a potential red to green move. Now, again, red to green is not a pivot, but red to green in this case can maybe, you know, maybe runs $2, maybe runs $20. We don't know. But the, you know, the, the play is always when you have a strong stock, exaggerated move is that trap on the rising 60 minute support, red to green, or obviously above uh, today's highs for uh, a confirmation move. And I tell you one thing, going from the options market, they were coming in for Junes. They weren't even betting the 400s, okay? They were coming in for the 440s, 450s, 460s, 480s for all June expiration. Absolutely incredible money flow with extreme premium. So again, I don't think, even if even if NVIDIA rests tomorrow, I don't think the story uh, has its ending just yet. Tesla is starting to get really, really good. Tesla had a great, great run for us. Uh, it stopped right at supply. Beautiful, beautiful run, especially if you've been watching this broadcast or in the live webinar, you kind of know. Uh, Tesla today reclaimed, right? Reclaimed the five-day moving average. Again, a lot of call buying coming in the name uh, this whole week for the 200s, uh, for the 195s, for the 220s for next month. Uh, guys, watch this sneaky channel here. This is a 60-minute view here. It's not going to be obvious to a lot of people unless you're watching this broadcast. 
There's a sneaky channel here. If it can get above this channel, so you can see I just re got rejected twice here. If it could get re above this rejected channel here, I think there's a shot it starts to wake up and maybe starts to attack uh, the weekly high. So definitely keep an eye on that. Apple, right? Look at Apple. You know, Apple is not quite out of the woods yet. Last time we spoke about Apple, had this great three-day run, but it's kind of starting to look the same. You guys remember this, right? You guys remember we were talking about Apple needed to get above the five-day moving average? Well, Apple's been rejected off the five-day moving average now back to back days. If Apple starts reclaiming the five-day, again, all you need to see this is a reference point of what happens next. So we're definitely watching Apple for the next, well, for tomorrow, uh, ahead of the long three-day weekend. If they can reclaim the five-day moving average, I think this thing wakes up as well. Not every stock, again, is participating. Look at Coinbase, right? Look at Coinbase. Coinbase is sitting right at the bottom of the channel here. It's held now three separate times here. Keep an eye on Coinbase tomorrow, guys. If it starts losing the bottom of the channel here, this thing could really, really get hit. So keep an eye on that. Again, we always want to make sure that everybody is prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, financials still look weak. Uh, you know, several uh, uh, several uh, technology names, including Coinbase, still looks weak. But we're obviously, we're watching for continuation strength in Microsoft, AMD, uh, Apple, Tesla, and all that good stuff that makes the FANG stocks fantastic, right? And absolutely fantastic to trade. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, again, as you can imagine, uh, this was the big McGill Gorilla, right? Big McGill Gorilla for the day. Uh, Amazon, I was watching above 1735, never got there. Uh, Meta, 253.60 needs to build. Here is Meta, not a huge move, but you know, took out the 253.60s, uh, went a little bit less than uh, 256, not a big move there, but Again, it is what it is here. Uh, FSLY, small move, 15 and a half, went to 15.45 before it got sold off. Tesla never got there. Uh, we actually had two separate pivots on NVIDIA. The first one actually wasn't a pivot, but if you guys were in the room, there was a massive order, a, a massive, massive seller uh, at 380 on the big washout from 395, right? They were just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. For the first half hour, 45 minutes, they were running away from that offer. And then all of a sudden, the bids started, started accumulating. It, it, they didn't run. Once they cleaned up that offer at, at 380, the stock gave us six point, you know, excuse me, five points very, very quickly. And then there was that natural opening range high of 386, needs to confirm for a possible move to 400. It didn't go to 400, but boy, oh boy, this was a phenomenal $6 move. Great, great move here. And here is the, here is the whole pivot here, right? It took out the 86, right? See it? Took out this whole 86 channel. And went right to and went right into uh, the ninety uh, the ninety four eighties. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal move. I know, I know a lot of you guys uh, caught the move. Definitely the trade of the day uh, for me. Uh, great move there. Uh, and Apple almost went right. Almost went uh, seventy three forty. Only went up about fifty cents. But I still like the setup uh, going into tomorrow's session. And that is about it. I mean, all the concentration today was definitely on nvidia it played out great uh and first of all i want to congratulate for all you guys i know i know so many people not just even the webinar but just in, on social media uh i know some of you guys took shots took you know took took a lotto play on nvidia yesterday i heard some phenomenal phenomenal um you know gains just apps unfortunately i didn't have any overnight but uh, i hear a lot of you guys really did and, and here's my piece of advice right um if you did really well on NVIDIA, okay, and you know you had one of those trades that gave you six figures, okay, um, my best advice is take the money that you made, uh, take the taxes out, and buy yourself real estate, right? Buy yourself a rental property, okay? The trade on NVIDIA that you got, that the market gods gave you in a, in a, in a once-in-a-lifetime a type of scenario, okay, that many traders will see, take that money, invest in real estate, invest in rental property, that one trade in the video, if you do it right, okay, and have great tenants and have you know, have them pay down your principal throughout the years, it's going to turn into a generational foundation, life building asset for you that will only appreciate. So it's great. If you want to feel great, you want to buy yourself something cute, something nice, that's all fantastic. But think like an adult, think longevity and start your uh, real estate portfolio. Always diversify, uh, always be smart and always uh, be an adult. So again, guys, that's it. So for all you guys who are uh, trading tomorrow, I will be trading. Uh, we have a three-day weekend. It is Memorial Day. For all you guys who are uh, who have been wanting to try out the pivots, guys, keep on the lookout. Uh, you'll see a Memorial Day 
uh, offer for about two, three days. Take advantage. It's $47. If you've been struggling in the market, trading the quote unquote normal way with the retail public and trading on the, the retail uh, intervals, the one minute charts, and all I both said, that's cool. That's great. But there is an alternative. I've been doing this for nearly a quarter of a century. Uh, we have a great, great thing going here, a fantastic product. And the most important thing is we have great people to play, make sure that you are on the right track. Guys, have a great night. God bless. See you soon. And the rest of you guys, stay blessed and have a great Memorial Day weekend. Take care, everybody.